those of you guys that aren't aware, back in February, Pokemon Sun and Moon was announced. What you might not have noticed though is that Sun and Moon's reveal did something different than the last couple reveals that we've had. Exhibit A! As you can see, they revealed the, the, the starters for the, the fifth generation here. And more recently, they revealed the starters for the sixth gen. But where are the starters for seventh gen? I hear you say! In the very small amount of Pokemon Sun and Moon footage that we got, which is not even considered footage really, they didn't show off the starters. So people are wondering, where are the starters? Because we saw them in each trailer up to this point. But this trailer was lacking them. It shouldn't be too much longer now till we get more information on Pokemon Sun and Moon. With E3 2016 right around the corner, I would bet my left testicle that Pokemon Sun and Moon is gonna make an appearance. Until then, I do have something that could build a little hype. I will give a small warning, however, these are definitely fan-created Pokemon. But, they're still fun to look at and speculate. The following Pokemon were drawn by Reddit user DamnL. Obviously, this is his water starter. And, uh, it's cute as fuck! I love them. I, honestly, I think this might be my favorite out of them. The next one's actually really cute, too. It's obviously the fire type, judging by the fact that it's fucking red. I think it would actually be awesome to have a tiger starter, because it's just- I love tigers, man. They're awesome. They're awesome! Next up is this grass starter. This actually- you know what? I actually changed my mind. This one's probably actually my favorite. I- I like the look of- like, this one's less cute, but it's more cool, you know what I'm saying? He, I, I really like the detail on his eyes and the fact that both of his little talons, which by the way, is his entire arms are made of talons, which is fucking awesome. I think that this Pokemon in particular would actually lead to some pretty interesting typings. If we actually head over to his DeviantArt page, we can actually see that he actually named them! The first water little guy is called Bub T. this guy's called Tigrare, and this guy's called Jurator. I don't know how to pronounce them. I'm sorry. DML actually went above and beyond and created the second stage of these Pokemon. Look how cool they are! They evolved! At this point, yeah, I, I would actually... I'd probably still stick with the grass type. I would choose the grass type. I fucking love him, he's cool. Lastly, we have a set of starters drawn by Reddit user Dale Whip. These guys are absolutely cute too. Honestly, out of these, I would probably go with either the water or the grass. The fire is cute as fuck. But I would still go with the grass or the water. The water's cute and the grass is cool in my opinion. I love them. So why don't you guys start drawing fake starters? If you want, you could message them to me and I'll take a look at them. I really respect the people that could actually draw that well because I just fucking can't for the life of me. If my life depended on it, I'd be dead in like five seconds flat. Let's start a conversation. Let's talk about Pokemon Sun and Moon. If, when will we actually get to see the starters? My guess is E3. I don't think we'll be hearing any more information on Pokemon Sun and Moon until then personally, but I could be wrong with things like Koro Koro constantly being published and showing off new Pokemon stuff. Links to find the artist responsible are in the description below. I'd check them out because they've also done some other amazing work. Anyway, let's talk about Sun and Moon. I'll be down in the comments with you guys. We're gonna be talking Sun and Moon shit. It's gonna be awesome. We're gonna be having a Sun and Moon party. It's gonna be night. It's gonna be day. It's gonna be all the things around the clock. It's gonna just me down there. It's fuck it.